Hey guys, I don't know if you noticed yet, but Diablo 4 has actually drones now in the game, just like some shooter games like Call of Duty Warzone. We have actually drones that can reveal the entire map, and I just want to quickly show you what I mean. So here you can see me doing a pit uh, run. And as you can see in the top right corner, the minimap is completely revealed, and I'm seeing orange dots, which show me where all the enemy groups are. And this helps me a lot, so I can just plan ahead. If there are some several or different uh, pathways I can uh, choose to run, then I just have to take a look at the minimap, and I will just reveal everything there, and will know in which direction I should go next. So this is very helpful, very powerful. It's only available for solo players. And in case you didn't notice yet, I will just show you how to do this in a second. But as you can see, we can maybe also just go a little bit further. So especially on maps like this, where you have many different routes and pathways which you can choose, it's a very good thing to have this uh, map reveal activated. And yeah, this just makes life a lot easier. Okay, so now I will show you what you have to do. So all you have to do is you have to activate your mercenary called Subo. So Subo is by far the best mercenary just because he is what activates this map reveal. So you have this seeker passive ability here, which says that Subo uh, reveals all enemies and materials in the area. So all you have to do is to choose Subo as your main mercenary. And then I here just went for piercing arrows and here for opening fire to deal some increased critical strike damage to targets hit by the cover fire. So this is what I would usually take on Subu, but the important part is here this Seeker ability. And it also mentions that we reveal enemies, but also materials as well. So I can also show you this quickly. So for example, if you go into the Helltide, then what Subu will do is he will also reveal basically all that you can find in the Helltide. So it just takes a little bit here, like you can see, but now I'm basically seeing everything. I'm seeing materials, I'm seeing chests, I'm seeing enemy groups, which is very helpful again. And I think I also might see everything that is related to some herbs or some iron chunks, so for example, you can see here, here I can see there's an ore vein. So I can just go here and collect some iron chunks, for example. Um, so yeah, it's very helpful. But now let's just go back to the towns, so we cannot be more longer harassed here. Um, but yeah, this is usually the trick I just wanted to share with you. Just in case you didn't notice yet, it also took me a while to realize that we have a drone map hacking in Diablo 4. But since I realized it, I'm only playing with Subo. Um, so yeah, I think the opportunity cost is also not too high. Many players choose uh, Rahir because he gives you some extra armor, which you can scale with um, unyielding hits aspect for some builds. But I think, uh, yeah, the opportunity cost is not too high and it's actually always worth it as a solo player to choose Subo for this amazing map hack. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I hope it was helpful. You can like this channel as always and subscribe to this channel, it would help me a lot. And just check out the other guides that I will release soon. Uh, I have promised you guys also a lot of rogue builds, so don't worry, they will still come. I just have just a little time right now. I'm <laughs> very busy with Spiritborn and some other stuff. Um, so, but they will come, I think, already this week. So just stay tuned until there. And yeah, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and bye-bye.